this has been whatever is happening between the federation and the government has been bring under the table i think as journalists we were not shocked when 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 you know it blew up yeah. yeah but it has been there for such a long time but i think it is as simple as the two sides actually sitting on a table this is what we want from you as a government yes we have been giving you money but we feel like it's not being put to use the way we want to and then as a federation you say this money maybe it's not enough or this money this is how we use it but on our side we're going to make everything clear when it comes to the workshops when it comes to nurturing talent when it comes to you know going around the country looking for the best talent because at the end of the day there's politics in everything and that is what i think kenyans need to accept there's politics in football there's politics when it comes to even picking players for harambe starlets let's not even go <coughs> deep into it there's politics when it comes to the allowances there's politics everywhere so if the politics are put aside and we decide no this is about the player this is about the passion for these ladies you know we take good care of them we make sure when they're in camp they are well fed their allowances are paid on time and they have been chosen well it, when you see uh, starlets are very good but there's still some big names missing and i won't even let me not beat around the bush we'll start with ac akida you understand not being part of that team i'll just be honest mm -hmm politics and politics around it but she's really good you know you don't know what she can do going to the women african cup of nations because me i feel i i personally feel like we will get past uganda in february 2022 but let's put that aside so we if we put the politics aside and these two sides sit on the table i think women's football is going to win because i feel like they the girls are doing the job but then already the institutions are letting them down you understand yeah. same thing with stars they have been doing the job then the institution lets them down and maybe you get some players are getting involved even in the politics and then that's how you start you start seeing the performance uh degrade day by day so if there's some these two parties need to sit down agree these players don't want much development uh train officials uh, that is when it comes to the officials and make sure the allowances are paid on time just make sure they can go home and buy some sugar for their mothers in in a few years they can even buy a house for their parents you know that is what most africans actually when when you go to work even you munga when you come to work the first thing you think about it's family and how to take care of your family that's all they want to be comfortable if they are comfortable we're going to win so many trophies in this country okay